Hi, and welcome to a little peek behind the scenes of one of my research and development worlds. What you see in front of you there is my time and weather control system. And this is something I throw into all of my research and development worlds because it makes it super simple and fast to control the time and the weather and the day cycle and all of those kind of things. And I'm going to show you real quick how to make it for yourself. Now, as you can see, there are a selection of switches here. And each of these levers will change one attribute of time or weather. In this case, the daylight cycle is currently off. So if I look at the sun, you can see it's not moving. But if I turn the daylight cycle on and look at the sun again, and you watch carefully, you can see that, yes, indeed, it is moving ever so slowly, but it is indeed moving. And turn that back off. I can set the time of day instantly just by flipping the switch, and it is now midnight. Flip the switch again, and it's noon. Same goes for weather. Right now the weather cycle is off, so the weather will not change. It will always stay clear as this lever is set here. But I can turn the weather cycle back on, and you don't notice any change right now. But I can switch it instantly to rain if I want, and switch it back off to rain, and turn the cycle back off. Now, all of this could be done via command lines within the game. I could just go in and type in the commands, but I find it a lot simpler and easier just to run over to this, flip the switches I need, and run back and continue doing what I'm doing. And you may find it simpler for yourself as well. Plus, I always forget the commands. But anyhow, let me show you real quick how to build one of these. The first thing you're going to need to do is give yourself a command block. Now, if you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. Just hit the backslash so you can get into commands and say give and yourself. Start typing in command block. You'll see it come up there. Hit tab to finish that. And then as many as you want. We only need one because we're in creative mode. So as you can see, now I have a command block. I'm going to grab a couple other blocks. I'm going to grab just like, oh, let's see here, some white concrete. And then I'm going to need some levers and some redstone torches. And let's see, I think just some signs is all that I need after that. So we'll just grab some oak signs. And all we have to do is put it all together. Now, if you saw over there, I had four different levers. You could do this with as many as you want. Any type of parameter within Minecraft, one, two, three, four, one too many, any parameter in Minecraft you could set to on or off. What I'm going to do is put the command blocks up here, and then I'm going to put another set of command blocks back here. Put the redstone lamps on the back of there, and without the commands, this is pretty much done. But I'm going to put the signs on just to make our lives easier. So we'll say uh, day cycle on. And you can make these as pretty as you want. Day cycle off. And this one will be noon. This one will be midnight. And this one is weather on, weather off, clear, and rain. And now we just have to program these command blocks. Now when I say program, don't panic. These are super simple commands. So we want the daylight cycle on. So we're going to do game rule, do daylight cycle, and we want it to be true. That one's done. Now the opposite for this one right here. So we'll say game rule, do daylight cycle, false. And that one's done. Now 
we'll go to this one and we want to do our time to noon. So we'll just say time set noon. Then down here, we want it to set to midnight. So we'll go back here to the second one and we'll say time set midnight. Let's test those out real quick. So right now, you see it says midnight, but it's daylight. You say, well, why is that? Because we haven't issued a command yet that says otherwise. So when we flip this lever, we're going to issue this command for noon. Now watch what happens when we flip it back down. Midnight. Noon. Midnight. Same with the daytime cycle, or the daylight cycle, I should say. The day cycle is on now. So if we look up, our moon should be moving, and it is. We turn it off our moon's not moving so we know we got that one right we're going to leave the daylight cycle off but we're going to turn it to noon and now we're going to do these and these are just as simple we can say game rule do weather cycle true which means we want the weather cycle to run naturally go here and do the same thing, game rule, do weather cycle, false. And then the same with what kind of weather we want. So in this case, we want weather, clear. And in this case, we want to do weather, um, let's do thunder. Even though it says rain, let's do thunder. And that's it. So let's see if this works. We'll say weather cycle on and clear. All right, so it is. Weather cycle off, which means the weather will not change by itself, but we'll switch it to thunderstorm mode. And there you go. So it's working. And that's all there is to it. I find this super useful in my research and development worlds. Maybe you'll have other uses for it as well. This is a really simple way to utilize command blocks just to change game modes with the flip of a switch. So definitely keep it in mind as you're uh, moving forward in your gaming skills. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share it. And if you didn't like this video, keep it to yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.